there is one huge obstacle that you guys will all have to overcome with dropshipping, whether it be right now, in a week, in a few months, in a year, you will have to overcome this. So if you are looking to start dropshipping or if you already have started, be sure to watch this video through the whole way. I'm going to explain exactly what this one obstacle is and how you can overcome it because I've had to deal with this and I still do on a very consistent basis. Now, before I get into it, be sure to leave a like, click subscribe if you wanna follow me on Instagram. I'll have my handle somewhere down here. But other than that, let's just get into this topic. Now, this isn't gonna be something like a payment processor issue or like, scaling issues or anything like that it's gonna be more just in here because if you're not right in here your business is not going to operate properly so what exactly am I talking about well when we are starting a dropshipping business some of the things we have to do include trying to find products and estimate if the product is going to be a winner or not before we even test products. It's like, if you actually think about it, we're basically trying to predict the future and say like, yes, this is a good product. No, it's not. Obviously we can analyze the product and make good predictions, but we can't be 1000% accurate ever on our product research prior to actually testing the product. So this puts everyone in a weird little mindset where if you test a few products back to back to back with no success, whether you're starting a new ad platform platform or a new website structure or something, it puts you in a weird mode where you start to get kind of discouraged. Now, this isn't just with dropshipping, it's with any business. We have to take on some form of risk and we don't want to waste our time and we want to be as efficient as possible. But through doing that, we could potentially be blowing through budgets, be spending too much money on ads on products that aren't going to perform well. We could be wasting time setting up a website, testing it, and you put in so much work and you're like fingers crossed that the product performs well and then you wake up, you have your ads launched, so you wake up the next day to no sales, you check your ads and you have you know money spent but nothing is converting. This has happened to me before, happens to me all the time still. It's not like my products are perfect, but the thing that's different with me and people who are extremely successful to the ones who actually aren't, who just give up, is that exact thing, they give up. So one of the core values and things that distinguishes myself from people who aren't really doing anything with dropshipping is I don't operate based off of how I feel. So in dropshipping and any business, your goal isn't to get really emotional with the business because business is actually not that difficult. It's just if you can actually maintain a good head on your shoulders, uh, that will allow you to actually succeed. So with dropshipping, right now I'm working with my team and we're testing tons of products on TikTok. We're running new ads, new creatives, new websites, all this stuff, and through this, we have many things that fail that we talk about prior to actually launching them and putting them into effect on calls and in meetings where we're like, yeah, this may work really good. And then we launch stuff and it doesn't really perform at all. And so then we have to reevaluate our strategies and adjust them and then go ahead and relaunch stuff and see what works. It's a testing phase, testing strategy. So through doing this, we have to perfect our craft. And if we were to get emotional, we would be like, oh, we tested 10 products, none of them worked. Tick TikTok is dead or like TikTok doesn't perform well. That is not the case with us. It's something where you look at what's not working, you start to analyze why stuff isn't working, and then you create a good strategy based off of that that you can follow to the T, almost to where you're operating as if you were a machine. Machines don't care about feelings, they just operate. When I get into my car, I turn it on and it turns on. If I want to go extremely fast, it will go fast, even if it's a hot day. Obviously, the engine will be stressed, but it doesn't matter. If I put the pedal to the metal, the car is gonna go fast. Same thing should be with your business. If you want to make money and you want to actually have a high-performing dropshipping store, you need to just like flip the switch and have that be a like, no-brainer. It has to happen. It's not a question. It's not if it's going to happen or what. It's just like, I'm going to do the tasks needed to actually make this happen. So once you make that decision, what you need to do is, when let's just say you're testing products because in dropshipping, a lot of people don't have systems in place to actually continue to rinse and repeat products. And so if one dies, they are kind of stuck and they don't know what to do. So if you can create systems to consistently be pumping out new winning products, scaling your ads and all this stuff where it's just phases and it's like, okay, this product's meeting this criteria, let's scale it. Or this product is not meeting this criteria, let's turn the ads off launch another product tomorrow or launch a few more products tomorrow and keep moving, 
When it's like that, it's easy. It's clockwork. It's literally just like, okay, this is not working. Turn off. This is working. Scale. Boom, 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 boom. New products today. Let's analyze them. Let's see what's potentially going to work well. And then let's keep rolling this out. But if you are constantly taking into account like, oh, how do I feel? Like, oh, it sucks that one product didn't perform well. And then like you get depressed because of that. You're probably not going to make it in this industry or in any business industry. And I'm being completely honest because like you need to understand that there are going to be difficulties no matter what you're doing. So you may as well just select drop shipping if that's what it is. You may as well just take that and run with it and make sure that you're not going to get discouraged if one thing doesn't work out. You do have to keep in mind people like myself, like I, and I'm not saying I'm an insane like t nine figure earner on e-com. I'm not, I have not done over a hundred mil. I'm nowhere close to that, but I do consider myself decently skilled in running ads and finding good products, setting up websites. So I know what it's like to go through that where I have product after product after product that doesn't perform well. And then I'm just like, bro, is this, is it even going to work still? Um, but it's not like, it doesn't matter that my thoughts aren't really that important because I do understand other people are doing whatever it is I want to do. I'm making this video because we're launching TikTok products uh, very fast and some of the products didn't perform well on today's test. And I was like, damn, if this was anyone else, a lot of people would get discouraged by this and just kind of give up. And that's not an option at all for us. It's not like even in consideration, it's just keep pushing through until we make it work. So that's kind of why I wanted to just talk about this more in depth because I know I'm not the only one that has dealt with these types of thoughts before. So if you've dealt with this or are dealing with this right now where you're getting extremely discouraged, you see other people getting results and you're like, man, this is like, how is it working for other people? But it's not working for myself. I would suggest to just keep pushing through and keep giving this a shot, like make it something where in your mind, you just have to make it work. If you make that switch and you consistently put in the work to actually make things happen, it will eventually like stuff will start to form and you'll start to find stuff that you can do on a consistent basis that will consistently bring you results with dropshipping and with pretty much anything. Something else I want to mention. So with products, a lot of people think they find amazing products and I get these DMs all the time where people are like, Seb, I have the best product or I have a million dollar product. I have a $10 million product. Like I just need help doing this. I've had these same thoughts where I'm like, this product is killer. It's going to make me so much money. And then I test it and it performs so bad. And then other products where I'm like, eh, I don't really know if this is going to work out well. I test and then it goes on to make me like multi six figures profit. So at the end of the day, you just have to test stuff and figure out what works. I know that's like, this is kind of a, a broad video. It's not like I'm saying exactly do this, exactly run ads like this, like sell these exact products. But at the end of the day, um, you have to have a good head on your shoulders in order to operate this business or pretty much any business you want to achieve your goals because like you're going to have some bad days and some things aren't going to go as planned. But as long as you can stick with it and operate like a damn machine, like I'm literally like my, my overall advice to you guys is operate like a machine. Like let's say you have one goal to make a million dollars next year in 2022. What can you do right now to actually start putting that into effect? It would be if you're going to do e-com, it would be like start testing products, mastering an ad platform and getting systems in place to actually start replicating results across the board with other products. That would be the way to go. It's not going to be like test one product. If it doesn't work, give up and try another business model because you'll be two years down the line and you're still trying to find the perfect business model when they really don't exist. Like you just have to pick one and stick with it. Again, I know this video is kind of broad, but I just felt compelled to make a video like this, just talking more so about the mindsets and the internal battles that you will face with running a dropshipping store or any other business. I deal with this still to this day and I've made a good amount of money in e-com, but I'm still like, oh, is this product gonna work? Is this ad platform gonna work? Are these ads gonna work? Is this strategy gonna work? Blah, 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 blah. But like the way I get around it is again, I'm just constantly trying new stuff. I, at the end of the day, I can't answer the question myself. I need the market to tell me if something's gonna work or not. So I, I just have that in mind at all times. And my negative thoughts don't really affect how I operate the business. Because again, I could have a great idea, but the market could think it's shit. So they won't perform well, but I could have a horrible idea and still give it a shot and the market could love it. And then next thing you know, I'm making a ton of money with 
this product that I thought like wasn't even that good. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Next video, I'm going to get into some sort of TikTok content. I'm not going to release the exact details for like what I'm gonna be talking about, but it's going to be something in the aspect of TikTok and running stores on there and maybe launching a product on TikTok, maybe showing you guys the ads. <laughs> kind of just potentially gave it away. Um, but if you guys wanna see that video, be sure to smash the like button. I will post that once this video hits 300 likes. I don't think that's too hard to reach. So hopefully you guys, again, did enjoy this video. If you did, you can also subscribe below, drop a comment. And then if you guys do want to follow me on Instagram, handle will be right around here. Other than that though, I will see you guys in next week's video.